What's going on you guys, this is MXKDF, another Dell Dimension 5150 or E510, this is DM051, going to be upgrades, show you how to do that. So first thing I want to do is upgrade the processor, and you're going to be using a Phillips screwdriver, there's one screw right here on the bottom, one on the other side. And you're gonna take a paper towel and wipe down the old thermal compound off the processor before you remove it. Same with the heat sink. And see they got the old thermal compound on it. It's all dry, so what we have to do is uh Get a, either a credit card or debit card you have. Like this, you're gonna scrape it off. That's good enough. So now I wanna take the I'm going to take a 91% rubbing alcohol and wipe down the heat sink with a paper towel. That's good enough. And the processor was installed here, the Intel Pentium 4521. It's running at 2.8 gigahertz. And the, the processor I have, the I able to upgrade is Intel Pentium 4. And it's running at 3 gigahertz. It's a single core with hyper threading. One mega catch and 800 megahertz front side bus. I tested with the Intel Pentium uh, D820, it does work, but the uh, only problem is it shows uh, incompatible CPU, you have to press F1 every time the window boots. So I'm just going to uh, just go ahead and change it to Intel Pentium 4. Now, do you wipe down the... Like this. Now I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna switch it to the other side so you guys can see better. I'm gonna upgrade the memory. It's using a DDR, DDR2. I'm gonna install the match pair. And you're gonna install the white slots. The, the slot one is right here, the white one. And the slot two will be the middle one. to channel A. You're gonna hear two clicks when the memory install properly. Now guys, uh, I'm gonna show you upgrading a hard drive. It's got a 250 gigs in here, uh, but I'm gonna be upgrading to 500 gigs. So it's basically half terabyte. Uh, I'm going to be using a Seagate. Connect back the SATA and power cable.
and it will be the last part guys it will be I'm gonna install back the heat sink and I'm gonna show you guys be the last part is the video card but I'm gonna so you're gonna take thermal compound and apply it right in the middle that's good enough uh, the best thermal compound you guys can use uh, you can, if you guys are gonna use like a just only one upgrade for the one CPU then you can get a small tube they have Arctic Silver 5 this is a pretty good one or Arctic MX4 or MX2 it's pretty good now you have to line the heat sink same with the other side And you can also install 80 millimeter fan in the back. I did a separate video for the Dell Dimension, and you could probably install 80 millimeter fan if you want the machine run cooler. You could do that. I already uploaded the video, but it's for the Dell Dimension. But you can still use it on this one the same way. So, guys, uh, let's see. Be the last part is the video cord, and there's a latch right here. You press it down like this. And you're gonna move the PCI bracket. And the video card, guys, I'm gonna be using is uh, NVIDIA Quadro. This is the NVIDIA Quadro 2000. And this is gonna be perfect. This got one gig of uh, memory GDDR5, and it worked perfectly for Windows XP uh, older games on Windows XP 32 bit operating system uh, with two gigs of RAM. And you're gonna be installing through. Video cards PCI Express times 16 slot right here. The, you can see the black one. So the video card is installed, and the power supply here is uh, 305 watts. So I'm not going to be upgrading. It's really good. It's really good power supply. It's a 305 watt. You don't have to upgrade. Let's close the side cover panel. And you're done. See you guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.